my beautiful people. Happy Friday. I hope you all had a wonderful week. I hope you enjoyed Wednesday's video. Um, yeah, they turned out actually quite cute. At the end of this video, I will give you a little show and tell because it's still a little bit wet, the five piece canvas thing. So anyways, I just had a couple of things I wanted to go through. I had mentioned, I had bought this, I was excited about it, bought this glass at Dollar Tree. Do not buy it. Please don't buy it. It, you, it doesn't smell. You open the bag, it smells like gasoline of some form of chemical, whatever. Um, I use my resin all the time and I do not smell the resin. Um, I do smell my spray paint, obviously, that's a given. This, I have washed it three times. I'm going to bring you down just a second to show you because I still feel like I'm going to puke. I washed this three times. This is what it started like. And I thought it would be cute to put in one of those, um, the feather tray. I thought I would do that. It's oh, it stinks. I still feel ugh, it stinks. I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna get rid of that because it's just gross. I bought another one that was a uh, pale pink as well. So, oh, anyways, that's my little rant. Um, so today we're gonna do some of my um, bloomed flower coasters, and Laura's um, art corner when she um, sent me my stuff. She sent me a um, container of the white paste. It is the Angel White Lares paste. Um, it was all taped up so it didn't, so there was no damage done to it, but taking the tape off, it has taken the label off the top. So it is the, the Lares, and this paste is Angel White. And I'm using it instead of, let me just grab it. So sorry guys, I should have had it out. My unpreparedness, I tried to prepare. Um, this is what I use, Cast and Craft Opaque Pigment White. Now with that, you put drops in, so I don't know. Laura told me to just give it a, a stir, because it settles, so you gotta stir it up scrape everything off of your stir stick and just use what's in the stir stick so that's what i'm going to try so i'm going to do that and then um i'm debating what to use as a center either a turquoise it's actual turquoise bird or one of these crystal if i can turn it so oh my goodness I was out shoveling today. Oh. Um, yeah, that. It's like a turquoise beak. Anyways, so I'm leaning more to this one. So we'll see. And I'm going to use, um, for the back, normally I put a um, mica powder and then put all kinds of glitter in it. I am doing just this. I, my bear must be upstairs. I am doing, oh no, there it is. So I'm doing Lares, um Paste. This one is Peacock Dance, beautiful color. And I'm gonna add just a little bit of the Blueberry Sparkle glitter. And this is what it looks like together. Like, I don't know if it shows through the camera or not, whether you can see the, the shimmer and the, it's just, so I'm thinking is that would be the, the second part of the coaster. So with that being said, I'm gonna mix up my resin. And when I'm mixing up my resin, I'm using my mask, my ventilator, my, yeah, ventilator, I guess that's what you kind of call it. Um, I'm using my mask. I got my Dyson air purifier on. And when I'm doing my video, just so I can explain it to you, I'm gonna take my mask off. But please do, I want you guys to use your um, your health and safety regulations all on your resins. And with that being said, I am gonna mix and I will be right back. 
Hello, we are back. I am all mixed up mentally and resin wise. <laughs> um, resin of choice is crystal resin. It is a two part epoxy. It is free shipping in Canada and it is an Amazon Canadian. I'm not sure about the American yet. They're in both my links, but I will link the actual um, website in the description box. So that being said, I have one and a half ounces mixed in here and I'm going to use that for my pigment. And I've got this mixed up and I'm gonna put an ounce in each of my molds. I'm using these um, geoid style molds. Hopefully I have enough. One. because I use this as well and I made some more of my X's and O's so I'm hoping I didn't take <laughs> too much out hoping this will be enough for in here just basically all you want is a thin layer on the bottom, just enough. Hopefully. What I might do is take a little out of my, what I have in the ounce. Because I'm not going to use all of that. Just gonna push that all in the corners. And with this type of effect, you want to leave your um, mm -hmm. resin to semi sit. I would say, depending on it, it's all it's different with every resin. So with me, I like to leave mine sit for about twenty minutes. sure this is in there and hmm I hope I don't regret this let me see I'm gonna do half no. I should be fine because there's always I always have excess left of the white. All right, let's get this all spread out evenly. Then I'm going to give it a couple spritzes with my alcohol. Ink. Oh my goodness, I had to go up and take those rocks and throw them in the garbage because I, I I was actually feeling sick the smell it literally smells like gas like um yeah really weird like I said I've spray painted in the basement and I've I get that you can smell it but I still couldn't believe how bad that was. And that was after washing it in the bag. It smells perfect. You don't smell anything because the bag is closed. So that was a recommendation that I am reneging on. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna give this a spritz. This is 95% alcohol. I wanna use the rest of this up I did end up purchasing the 99 because I could could never find the 99. The darn thing was $8 at Walmart. Craziness. This doesn't want to spritz. There we go. Just give it a good spritz. I don't know if you can see it. It's just popping up. Alrighty. Um, I'm going to take my 
a clean, that's not a clean one, this is my clean, clean stir stick, which now has resin on it because I put that on top of it. Oh my goodness, Sherry, I'm going to grab a clean one, just give me a second guys, because when you're using this you should always, always, always use clean so that you're not, so I'm going to take this. Uh, Laura says to give it a stir. I've never used the paste before until I did the other day with that. Uh, I was playing with the bear wanting to do something. All right, and she said to scrape it all off. And what's, I don't know, I'm hoping, I'm just put that little bit on there. What's left, I'm going to put in here. And, oh wow. Look at that. Amazing. Cool. All right. Just going to keep stirring that up. Perfect. I'm going to put the lid on my... Hopefully, it, I hope it works. It should work. I've been told it should work. That I'm going to use it later. I've opted to do the glass beads. So I'm just going to cut them off the string. We will need four. Oops, one more. One, two, three. I want to make sure I get the one without the string on the end. Okay. So I'm just going to let that sit for a little bit longer. Going to give it another spritz with the alcohol because you can see bubbles in there still. And I see a piece of hair. Always. Alright, I guess I don't have to worry about this floating around. I'm going to put it in right now. We will find the center. Oh, I never thought. Yeah, it should be good. I was thinking about... They're both the same, so it don't matter which way. I want to make sure the height. So when you're putting something in there, make sure it's not going to stick up over top of your mold. Now the other ones I use, the um, the ready brown molds that are six in a, in a row, it won't matter because those you can fill right up to whichever. Now the hole on these are this way at the top, so you won't be able to see it, so that's good. Another second just to sit. Alright. I think I'm going to put it. Actually, I'm not going to pipe it today. I'm just going to see if it'll pour. We're good. I don't see any bubbles. So here we go, my friends. I'm just going to use this. Squeeze. This one's actually pretty pliable. So, and here we go. Oh, it's messy. see no I am going to I'm gonna put it in a bag that is actually quite messy 
Well, mind you, it straightens out. Let's go. We're just going to keep going. No, Sherry. Oh, my goodness. We will put it in the bag. I'm just going to set it in this cup just so that I can put it in there. I'm, oh, that's so disappointing. Watch this be the time that I don't have enough white. Isn't that funny? Again, as I boast, the trials and tribulations of my, of my artwork, I tell ya. Okay, I'm just gonna give it another little twist. All right, snip as small as you can, because you can never, as you see here, you can't take it out. You can only put more on. I'd rather do a second row, a little bit more maybe. Oh, I can't, oh my goodness. I'm very sorry, I have to bring it to me. And I think I just cut too much, there we go. And I'm gonna cut the end off because it'll, ah, cheapers. It's gonna get in my way. I cut the end of the bag off. Well, I guess I'm starting here. I maybe was not meant to do a set of coasters today. Yes, we got quite the snowstorm. I ended up the end of my driveway was almost to my waist. And I have to shovel because my husband can't. And that was not fun this morning. All right. Oh, I thought there's <laughs> my cloth stepped on the on the floor I thought I stepped in a puddle of water all right here we go can tell when Sherry's concentrating. I'm quiet. There we go. I might do another little bit of a layer here. I'd like to go as close as I can because they do sink in. Oh, that one's going to be horrible. <laughs> never know, it might surprise me.
my goodness. I'm going to do another. Always seems that one side is a little bit better. I'm going to do a little row, half a row down this way. Maybe. Perfect. I guess it maybe it'll make the petals look like they're textured on this one. <laughs> and again, I still have a little bit left, so that's all right. So with that, I'm going to... Actually, you know what? I don't see any bubbles in there. Sorry if my head's in your way. We're going to give another spritz. And it does work. See that? I, I forgot I was trying a different thing. So that actually worked. Let's see. I don't normally put the heat gun on it because I would rather it work its own magic. Let me just see. And the heat gun's different than the torch. Okay. The torch is a lot of heat. This you can use at um, low. So I'm going to do low. And you want to move it around. You don't want to leave it in one area. Wow. I'm going to put it on high maybe. that happen I have a piece of glitter and of course it's right on the white if I can get it out ah, I performed surgery perfect all right that's that I'm gonna let it see if it does its thing and oh my goodness I have a couple of things in here that I'm gonna pull out All right, there you go. So I'm gonna let it sit for about four hours probably. And I'll come back, I just wanna make sure they're all in the center because this tray has lips on the edging so you wanna make sure they're all even. There we go. And that being said, I will let this sit for a few hours and then we'll come back and I'm hoping it works. It's starting to work on this side too. And, um, We'll put the back half on. I'll see you guys in a few hours. Bye. Hey, we're back for coat two. I am actually very impressed. This looks like they turned out even the one I thought I goofed up. So with that being said, I mixed up because I couldn't quite remember how many ounces were in these ones. So I mixed up six ounces. I'm gonna get a couple of stir sticks out, a stick and a spoon, and we're going to mix up our resin with some. Our, this is a Lorez, and this one is Peacock Dance. And look at how pretty that is. So what I was told, same with the white, give it a mix. And then just what you scrape off, like, and then you just put it in your container. And it's cold down here, so this is kind of quite thick today. That is so pretty, though. Like, look at that color. Oh. All right, I'm scraping it off. I don't want to get it on the end, and I'm just. Maybe I'll put a little bit in there because I want it a little bit. There we go. See, it's cleaned off. There's just a little bit. I'm just going to stick it in my container, put my lid back on, 
and let me just take off this thing. Actually, I'm just going to set it right there. And we're just going to mix it around. Oh, look at that color. Oh, pretty. So pretty. set it down for a second beautiful so make sure it's all mixed in that's gorgeous it looks like the I don't know if you can see it it looks like water blue oceany all right I'm gonna get rid of my stir stick Pull out my glitter. Oh, like, look at that. Oh, oh my goodness. All right, I'm gonna do that much of my spoon. In it goes. Oh, that is so pretty. Perfect. Put that aside. And that was Blueberry Sparkle. Now I'm going to use my spatula and mix everything in again. Oh my goodness. Look at this. And that's gorgeous. Okay. I am going to use my measuring one ounce. We'll just see. Oh my goodness. Hmm. That is gorgeous. All right, one ounce. Just gonna give this a stir. It's beautiful. Oh. And a little another ounce on this one. That is gorgeous. Now, let's just hmm. let's just give it a second. Let it sit. Because I know I'm going to have to come back with some more. set my spatula there I'll try and fill up what I know I can see these ones are pretty good this one still needs a little more 
it was the one that was shy on the white part. are slippery there we go perfect I'm gonna try just to make sure not better I'll make sure the bead is covered looks like this one here is the going to be the pain in the butt one so I'm going to scrape out what I can out of this whoops that was an almost missed that all that lovely stuff. I'm gonna wipe that up before I do that. Alrighty. Try and get some more on this. I'm just gonna put little bits. See, this is the only one that is on the verge of nothing covered, so I'm going to put the rest of this one on that. We are good. Perfect. Now I'm going to get out my, I'm going to take my gloves off here, my friend, sorry. And I'm gonna, oh my goodness, stick into myself. Okay, get my alcohol is right here. My 95%. Let it sit for a minute. Oh, that's so pretty. Such a difference. Um, that is very dark. So I might put a little bit more the next time but that is a beautiful color and that glitter goes a long way mm -hmm. we've got that little rings that you can see oh come on there we go it's going to evaporate so if you put more on that doesn't really matter because it'll go away oh that looks like three-dimensional it's kind of cool because you can kind of see a little bit of the flower pattern through this side which I've always tried to cover before I always tried to make sure that this side was dark All right, with that being said, I'm going to give it a tarp. I tried to wash out my other one and it doesn't work. You have to let it completely dry in there. So, let me grab. I did my second set of X's and O's <laughs> with the, the proper glitter. So that's going to set. So I'll leave that there and I'll put it underneath. Oh, I'm just going to stick it this way so it'll get tarped when I put my... Um... Yeah, I'm going to go this way. And we're going to put this this way. I'm going to move this there. There we go. That's how I had it. There. And we'll tarp this 
and I'm going to leave it overnight. I might give it one more little spritz of alcohol. And I think we are done. That's so weird. It looks like there's one big chunk in... Oh, that's part of... Silly me. That's part of the, um, the bead I put in. You could see the holograph part of the, uh, the pearlescent -y part of the, the bead. Alrighty. Well, I'm going to put my big old food saver on and I will leave it set overnight and I will see you beautiful people in the morning. Have a great night. Good morning. We are back. I am so excited. I had to come down before even before my coffee. Look at that. That's so pretty. And that's not, it's not uh, raised at all there. So that's kind of cool. All right. I'm just going to loosen them all up. And this is the one I thought that I didn't um, didn't turn out, so we'll see. All right. Okay, we'll look at the one I thought I didn't. Here we go, my friends. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, look at the center. That is cool. Ah, I'm impressed. That's the one I thought I goofed up. Here we go. Oh my goodness. I think I will be using that pigment paste. Those are amazing. And here we go again. Oh, wow. I am sorry, guys. The only thing is, this is see-through still. I will put a little more pigment in than that. And here we go, because I can still see. I don't know if you can see through. You can see through it a bit. Here we go, last one. One, two, three. Wow. And I like that stone. Sorry, I'm just... I like the stone in there. It's a little, little something something. Well, there we go. I'm impressed. <gasps> and my X's and O's came out. So now I still have to make one more. Someone needs to make a better mold. <laughs> well, anyways, oh, I'm impressed. I they turned out so pretty. Well, thank you for watching. I hope everyone has a wonderful weekend. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. If you um, like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you hit the bell for notifications of my next video and if you like what you're seeing give it a share and um you gotta jump onto my facebook page i've got the link into the description box and show me what you're up to and i have my link for laura's art corner in the description box and don't forget to use my discount code it is all capital letters sherry molten 10%. And with that being said, I hope you all have a wonderful weekend and I'll see you, <clears throat> sorry, on Sunday. Love you guys. Have a wonderful day.